Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have seen some questions about vertical text in Tinkercad. I've got some strategies, so let's get cracking. If you have not made this rocket, I have got a super simple tutorial. I'll make sure it's listed up in the corner. All right, so first things first, this is just three separate pieces of text. You can see I just brought out one duplicated, nudged it down, and made my three vertical letters. That is the easiest way. Now you'll notice they pop out funny. I will show you a solution for that in just a moment. Before I do that though, I want to show you another technique. I'm going to start a new browser tab and I am going to go to Canva. You can use any tool that you like that you know makes vertical text. I enjoy this one because it's pretty darn efficient and check it out free. I chose the sign in with Google option. So now I can click over here, click home. I'm at canva.com and I want to create a new design. I'm going to choose the logo option because they're pretty small, which works for my Tinkercad project. And I'm going to go to text and I'm going to add a text box. Now I want the phrase awesome. So I'm going to do capital A. W-E-S-O-M-E. -E. But friends, if I take this handle and make it skinny, all of a sudden, they are vertical. So if we click somewhere else, we can now grab this and move it up. We can go through and pick a different font. I'm gonna find something that looks kind of fun. Let's see if we can find something else that looks kind of fun. Notice these are premium ones. I think I'm gonna go with this League Spartan. We could make it a little larger. Notice if you stretch these out, you can find the exact spot where it no longer does what we want. Now we can save this as an image, but we can't export it as an SVG unless we sign up for premium, which I don't really need. Instead of taking the time to save it as an image, I'm just going to do a screenshot because I find it faster. You can do whichever method you want, but you do need this saved as an image. I'm using Snagit, and then I can simply do Control S and it is saved to my downloads. Let's bounce back here one second to our logo. I do want you to know that we could have adjusted this spacing between the lines so that it was tighter. That was something we could have fiddled with if we wanted. I am fine with the way mine was, but I did want you to know that is an option back here in Canva. I also want you to know colors don't matter at all, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Once you have it in your downloads, we're going to go to another tool. It is called picksvg.com. We need to upload that picture. Of course, mine was in my downloads. It instantly creates the first SVG. Check these out as much as you want. I don't like that one because it has the little dots inside. Let's see how this one looks. I do like that, so I'm going to download that. SVG file, once again, save it to my downloads folder, and then let's return to Tankercad. So like I said, we had USA on this side. We're going to put awesome over here or maybe in one of these gaps so it does not run into the fins. We simply import, choose the file, and then grab that word awesome. We only want the art. It's going to be freaking huge. See how that says 800? So I'm going to scale this down to 20%. Press enter. That'll still be 16 centimeters tall. I'm going to go 10% and enter and hit import. It'll take just a moment. There it is. And you have got vertical text. There's our word awesome. We're going to stand it up. I always like to do this from a corner. And when you move here, you've got this rotation handle which goes 22 and a half degrees at a time if you stretch out past that ring it goes one degree at a time if you hold shift it does 45 degrees at a time which is perfect for standing it up the letter d is for drop and let's rotate it so that it's going to fit where we want i'm going to put mine right on this side so i'm going to get it lined up now using the one degree i'm also going to shift scale this from the top so this is the right height raise it to where i want i can pick one color i'm going to go with a blue and then i'm going to push it in partially to push it into this shape i'm going to hit w for work plane and i'm going to click on the flat spot of any letter and that way i can push it into the shape 
Now it isn't perfect, but let me show you how we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna put the work plane back down on the ground, press the letter W, click on that blue line, and we're gonna simply bring out a tube and we're gonna merge these so it cuts perfectly. Check this out. Tube is right here. If we check our cylinder, it's 19.99. So that means if we go over here to our radius, I'm gonna make the real shape have a radius of 12, which will be 24. That way it'll stick out past the letters. Notice we can move this over and you'll see it's larger than the letters right now. And then I want the wall thickness to be two. So this is how much it's gonna cut. So if you take 24, take away two and two for a wall on each side, it exactly fits our shape. Now, of course, we need to make it as tall as the whole shape, and we need to make it a hole, and we want the sides to be round so it trims absolutely perfect. I'm going to hide my fins. I can shift click to make that a little faster, orbit, shift click, hide. So now the fins are hidden, and then I'm gonna take this shape, and I'm just going to shift click the tube, and I wanna align it just like that, pop and I'll look at it from a corner so it makes more sense and pop so it is ready for grouping but I've got an idea for one more smart project so I'm gonna hide this I'm gonna click on this guy and I'm gonna do control D to duplicate it and then I'm gonna shift nudge to move it out here and I'll show you that trick in a minute and let me show you another cool trick instead of hiding these let's lock them there's my shift select and I'll lock those two get so I can see this one and it already was locked. Friends, if I grab all of this area, I just got those letters, I just got the awesome, I've got our hole, and if we hit group, our rocket body will now have everything included. Notice it doesn't have the exact colors we want. All we have to do is hit multicolor and bingo, they show up. Now we've got a couple things going on here. My walls did not stick out far enough and it's possible my letters did not either. Kind of a fun effect, but let's fix those real quick. If we double click, I can click on this body tube and let's instead make it 14 and let's make the wall thickness four and press enter. When we click out here, you can see now it is cutting more. Pretty sure this is because of that 19.99 I had for my rocket body. So I'm gonna double click one more time and let's make this cutout Instead of four, I'm gonna do 3.99. Once again, click out here and let's see how that turns out. So we cut a little bit less and bingo, there is the awesome USA and awesome that I was expecting. Now friends, remember I gave you this one over here. Let me show you why. First, I'm gonna straighten it out or straighten it out-ish because my numbers weren't perfect. And then I'm gonna turn this into a hole. I'm gonna bring out another cube. I'm gonna make it taller than the shape. Make sure I've got the correct one selected. And we are gonna create what we call an inverse hole. So the first thing I'm gonna do is align it. Notice I went center and center. And I'll even go center this way. And I'm going to group those. Notice it's inside there. If we switch this to our inverse hole, there is our word awesome. Now, why did we do this? Well, what if you wanted a different color for each letters? It is so easy. We bring out a block. I'm gonna make it a tiny bit smaller than the cube. So I'm gonna do shift squish so I know it fits inside. And then I need to make it the height of the first letter. So see how that sticks out just a little bit? So I'm gonna raise it up. And just like that, I've got cube number one built, and we just need a total of one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So I'm gonna hide that for a moment. I'm gonna do Control D. Let's put the work plane right here and do D to drop. And then Tinkercad remembers that if you don't click anywhere else. If I do Control D again and again, I can get all the way to the top of the word awesome. Now I can pick a different color for each of these even using the awesome custom tool if I want something super fancy. Note there's also an area where you could paste in your own hex codes. And finally a purple. 
just having fun picking whatever colors we want. Now if we do show all, I'm going to nudge this over so I can see how well I did my heights. Notice I am off by a tiny bit. So I am going to just grab these and I'm going to scale them all a little bit at a time to see how close I can get it. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I think that's going to be fine. Friends, let's give it a test. Work plane back down on the ground. I'm going to take all of this and do L for a line. We want it to be middle and middle. And finally, control G. Let's see if we've got the word awesome in many colors. The only way to really find out is to turn on multicolor. Heck yeah. So let's take this over here. Once again, custom rotate it. I'm going to ungroup our old project. And let's get this one placed inside. Once again, when we're ready to line it up, we do need to hit W for work plane, click a flat face, and then we can just push it in just like we want. I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground, select all of our project. These are still locked, that's why they show purple, and click group. Friends, after a moment, you have got fun vertical text. Notice I still had a piece popping out here. We're gonna fix that by double clicking. I'm gonna hide this for just a moment, put the work plane back on that W, and I just need to push it in another tiny bit, like that. Show all, click, put the work plane back down to the ground as we wait, and after just a moment, there she is. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Also down below, you'll find day one favorites, useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Finally, friends, don't forget in the corner, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.